So uh, we should be blocked from all this low level of information hmm? and understand that we only want to know our Supreme Self. Nothing else matter because we never die, we never have any problem, we always wise and happy. That person we should know. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Cordiales saludos, exuberantes televidentes. Mi nombre es Ninfa, desde Ciudad del Este, en la acogedora Paraguay. Paraguay, en lengua indígena, significa río que pertenece al mar. Sus onduladas verdes colinas, sus ricos suelos y sus exuberantes bosques pristinos impresionaron tanto a los primeros exploradores que los llamaron un segundo Edén. Con numerosos grandes ríos, lagos cristalinos y exuberantes humedales han alimentado una notable civilización con un rico patrimonio artístico. Paraguay también comparte el segundo acuífero de agua dulce más grande del mundo, el acuífero guaraní, con tres países vecinos. Los paraguayos manifiestan un amplio espectro de relaciones armoniosas entre el hombre y el agua y entre el hombre y la naturaleza. Las abundantes bendiciones de la naturaleza han ayudado a los paraguayos a perfeccionar el arte de la hospitalidad. Tenemos la bendición de presentarles brevemente a la encantadora Paraguay. Les deseamos los días venideros más enriquecedores y llenos de alegría. Durante más de tres décadas, la Maestra Suprema Xin Hai ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una maestra totalmente iluminada imparte el método Quan Yin de meditación. A aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna y alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de la transmigración. El método Quan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los maestros iluminados, tales como Buda, Jesucristo, el profeta Mahoma, la paz sea con él, y Guru Nanak, y muchos más. Ella enfatiza que si siempre recordamos a Dios, ofrecemos servicio desinteresado 
a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo, alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la Tierra. La Maestra Suprema Shin Hai es un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión, enviando frecuentemente asistencia material y financiera, además de amor a los refugiados, a los desamparados, a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda. En el 2006, ella recibió el Premio Gusi de la Paz, considerado el Premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente, y ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias. Una verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales. Ella promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de plantas y prevé con el despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas. Un tranquilo y glorioso mundo, completamente vegano, donde los animales y las personas vivan en dichosa armonía. Sus iniciativas para difundir la tendencia vegana son diversas y han incluido la distribución del volante de vida alternativa, la cadena internacional de restaurantes veganos Loving Hub, Supreme Master Television, además de hablar regularmente con influyentes líderes de gobierno y medios de comunicación y participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no. Sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida amigable con los animales y de cómo esta benévola forma de ser puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones a la vez que salvamos nuestro planeta del cambio climático. A lo largo de los años, la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai ha viajado por todo el mundo, desde las Américas hasta África, desde Europa hasta Oceanía, y ha ofrecido cientos de discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre una variedad de temas espirituales. Hoy somos bendecidos con la presentación de una de estas reveladoras conferencias titulada el Maestro siempre ha estado contigo, parte 2 de 3, en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos, dada en inglés el 22 de diciembre de 1992, en Pintung, Taiwán, también conocida como Formosa. Master, I want to ask you again because mm. I've been thinking about one of the answers you gave me yesterday mm -hmm. when I asked you about the message that what we received uh, from from Jesus Christ. And I understand your answer that we should not uh, think in the future, only in the present. But I've been thinking that uh, you have tell us that Jesus was also or is also a Uh, Supreme Master. Mm -hmm. So why why he's telling us that sending us that message? What message? Message about the things are going to happen in the future. Who? When? When did he predict anything? Did you see that in the Bible? No. No. Then no, don't listen are, to nonsense. No, there is not in the Bible. There is it from the present time <sighs> that he. They people, say anything at all. People, Why should you listen to them? People have who have received message from Jesus and then they put in print in papers. They have received so many messages from Jesus already since many decades. And so many people are gathered from in one mountain or the next waiting for Jesus to come, etc. Give up all the money, all family ties, just come in there. 
It's going on in every country now. And in Korea, there are a big wave about Jesus coming. Jesus uh, come to, to, to Korea. People predicted it. And they're still waiting for Jesus now. <laughs> so are, are you trying to tell me that uh, anybody who said that uh, here Jesus Christ talking to him is not true? It depends. Yeah? It depends what kind of interpretation. It depends on what kind of message. Understand? It depends on the person who received that. Because sometimes people misunderstanding. When they, for example, when I say Christ power, I don't mean Jesus Christ was talking to me. When I say I'm one with the Buddha, I don't mean I'm Sekamoni Buddha. I don't mean everybody, every time the Sekamoni Buddha is sending me a message, fax machine or anything like that. <laughs> Understand? And then when people spread out, it becomes kind of superstition. Understand? When I say... I and God are one. I don't mean God is standing in my head and dictating me anything. Or that I, I am the God. You understand? The human language is very difficult to convey something that is uh, sacred and on, from the high level. Uh, and on the other, another side is that sometimes the person receives the message, he's not pure enough. Understand? He receives from the astral information. Sometimes they make fun on the people. Yeah, they have jokes, uh, and, they, and then they laugh at our expense. Our stupid running around because they just cast some kind of jokes around. And then they will believe it, and we prepare a lot of things. And uh, so many thousands of people congregate at one place and waiting for Jesus to come out or do something else. And then they, they laugh. They stand in a, about and laugh. Understand like that? Yeah. Okay, so sometimes, also some kind, sometimes the message come through is all right, but then the timing is not exact, because our timing and in the in the untiming sphere is all different, and the calculating is wrong. Also, yeah, many different things. Or the location is different. Yeah. Mm. Even then, these messages are not truly very high message. Yeah. When it goes through a medium of uh, uh, verbal expressed channel, it is sometimes differently translated. You understand or not? Yes. Therefore, you have to see what is uh, truly reliable and what is not. You understand? Sometimes it's funny. And also, you have to see what is truly important. Understand? To listen to. Now, I already told you that if something is going to happen in one area and you fear of dying and run to the next, I'm not sure your life will be preserved. If God's will that your life's gone, you is gone. You're gone in bed. You'll be gone in bathroom anytime. Hmm? And now we are the highly practiced uh, practitioners. We should not bother about these message. Understand? Jesus come, we know already. He already came. Hmm? And if we should die tomorrow of disaster or whatever happened, well, let it be. Huh? We never die. We just change. Huh? And we change for the better. And that we all know. So what, what should you fear? Hmm? Life is dangerous anyhow. I told you already. It ends deadly. Nobody can escape. <laughs> so sooner or later, we will have to experience the deadly end of life. So if it ends today, it ends tomorrow, it just makes a few years or a few days different. All right? Yeah. <laughs> have no fear, so you don't need any message. If you should receive any message, it's direct. You have a re direct connection with Jesus. Why should you rely on telephone booth or <laughs> public uh, communication? Huh? All right? You have direct line with Jesus. Huh? <laughs> most of the people who relay messages, most of people, I don't say, oh, they are a little bit of kind of medium. They receive astral information. Hmm? or maybe from other planet, make jokes. Do you think people in other planet, they are, are not naughty? <laughs> yeah, they are. 
they're also human like us, some of them. Some of them are more spiritually developed, and some are human like us, some are worse. Okay? So you don't know where the message came from. If we open, we open the channel, open, they always receive all kind of lousy nonsense message. Yeah. I open my receiver and sometimes I hear talking in Taiwanese, I don't understand anything <laughs> because of outside. Yeah? Has nothing to do with us. I want to get a curse and then it's blah, 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 talking about anything else because I accidentally turn on the, the same channel with the outsider. Understand? Uh, two nights before, there were one lady who said that since she was 13, she was always surrounded by invisible beings who liked to get hold of her and tell her to go here and there, right? After initiation, she became better. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they would tell them all kind of message, tell them what to do. Then she was uncomfortable. There are many people who receive a message in the head, tell them to fight this person, to hit that person all the time, and cause trouble, <laughs> just for fun. Hmm? <laughs> so uh, we should be blocked from all this low level of information hmm? and understand that we only want to know our Supreme Self. Nothing else matters, because we never die, we never have any problem, we always wise and happy. That person we should know. Yeah? <laughs> Any other things? How can you avoid disaster? Hmm? If God wants, He destroy the whole world, and where do you run to? Hmm? Remember the story of Noah? Noah? Yeah. Where do you run to if God doesn't want to save you? You're finished. You're finished right here. <laughs> Okay? Have no fear whatsoever. Whatever happened to us, it can never happen to us. If it doesn't mean to happen. Whatever means to happen to us, it will happen, whether we want it or not. Whether we practice Kwanin method or not practice Kwanin method. But the Master will see to it that uh, you will bear it through. Or make a kind of lubrication so that you don't feel that much. Huh? Okay? But he doesn't stop it happening. He might alter the time, or change it, or make it into a dream, or make it uh, minimize it so that you feel better, that's all. But it doesn't stop to happen, okay? Everything you have inside, just that I have to confirm it to you, and bring it out, and bring your goodness out, bring your intelligence out, show you back to where you, you belong and what you have, show you your own treasure. So I'm just a guide, understand? Yes. I remind you of your greatness. Yes. But in the worldly sense, you call me a master, so it's all right, it's only a name. Yes. Yeah? There's no great deal about it. Therefore, no, no worry that, I, that my name is the Supreme Master Ching Ai, and then my ego is so supreme. <laughs> <laughs> because I have no ego, therefore, I let it be the Supreme Master Ching Ai. Just because I have no ego. If I have the ego, I would not put the Supreme Master Ching Hai to let people laugh at me and misunderstand me. Understand? Yes. And doubt me. Just because I don't have ego, so I do not think anything about it. Huh? You can call me the Supreme Woman or the Supermarket Woman. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, I treat it as a name only. It's a symbol of the search of your soul, hmm? as light, a symbol of the light, the aim that you want to reach. Understand? Not as my own property. Therefore, if you sing the praise for me, Master Ching Hai, I'll sing with you, because it's not me. <laughs> Master Ching Hai don't belong to me. The praise do not belong to me. Understand? Master Ching Hai is also my master. I pray to the Supreme Master Ching Hai also. Because the Supreme Master Ching Hai is the Supreme Master. Understand? Yeah. You might not understand, but it's like that. <laughs> yeah. That sort of has something to do with my question, and it's related to what I asked yesterday, I'm still not real clear on. Yeah. Um, the answer now? Is answer your question it's, now? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's closer. Yes, yes. Um, you can ask more. 
Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to ask. It's <laughs> never mind. Try to follow. Okay, it, it has to do with the, like with the omnipresence and some yes. like in the magazine. Sometimes people say that like you've yes. they've, you've appeared to them. Yes, and over in the in the um, sharing that has been over there. Yeah. So I, I guess I'm not. I mean, that got closer to that. It's like it's like you are cheering for the master Ching Hai also, or your, your inner master also, or the master. Yeah. And I guess I'm, I don't quite get where the bridge or how that bridges into the human being. You know, from, from I'm the not a human being. Okay. Well, how it bridges in... Only from, my body is a human body. So you're always tapped into the, the total consciousness? Yeah. And you can... You can so from... Yeah, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> well, I have to have an office to work. Right. So, so that you can see me. This is the office. Huh? Okay. The name is the name of my office. So as, as soon as I have a thought in America mm. and I, I, I request your mm -hmm. presence, you can actually, you're right there with me? I'm always there. <laughs> It's you, it's you who block yourself. You make a distance between us because you are still living in space and time. I'm out of space, out of time. I'm in space, in time, but so out of space and out of time. I'm in space and in time because of you, because you are in space and in time. I'm out of space and out of time also because of you, so that I can know wherever you are, whatever you want. So when, as soon as we're initiated, you're with us from that time on. I have always been with you, even before initiation. Okay, right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You understand it? Yeah. You understand it? Yeah. That's, really? That's... It's, it's not saying in the sense of superstition that uh, I always been with you as a person and looking after you since your birth is not true. I have been with every being, whether they initiate or not, before, after, in between initiation, any time. Because I'm not that person that you're thinking of. I only choose to be in this office for a while. One of the part is in the office, but this part is connected with the whole. Therefore, when you see this part, you see the whole. Understand? Right. That's it, that's. So don't that, think I am that body, or I'm right. only that. Right. But yes. Seeing that, and, and like when I see you in person, that's what it's like. I feel like what Vincent was saying. It's like that love just starts flowing out. It's like I open up when you're around. You feel? Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. it's good. Then we're together. <laughs> Have I answered you completely? I think so. If not, you please ask. Any doubt, you have to clear it before you are satisfied and completely lost in, in your own self. <laughs> Otherwise, you're blocked in some corner, you understand? For example, we are fully free, but one of your corner of the dress is caught in somewhere and then you hang on there. Well, What's your name? D Dennis. Dennis, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Sometimes I, f I feel like there's like a block somewhere in the corner, mm. and I don't know what it is. Or I, 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 I'm not clear. If, for example, it you doubt like, me, you doubt yourself? Not, yeah, I think I doubt myself. It's uh. like I sense some confusion, but I'm not sure where it's coming from. It's like, well, I must have a question. Uh. You know, it's like that's what I think. It's like uh. there must be a question somewhere, but I don't know what, what it is. What are you confused about? I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I really this is that's this is, really confusing huh? yeah it is it's almost like sometimes I, I I get into a space where I I'm confused about nothing <laughs> then let's just be confused for a while <laughs> until you're no more confused <laughs> until you're clear about what you're confused about huh? uh, anyhow it's just there because you have not completely convinced that you are one with the universe that's the last catch. Uh, once you're free of that, you're finished. Yeah. Uh, it takes time, eh? takes time. Mm -hmm. Never mind. That will be confused for a while. It, it's no harm. <laughs> if you finish so fast, it's also boring, you know. If you became Buddha in five minutes, had nothing else to do. 
Yeah, I had trouble because I was so fast. But I do everything fast. <laughs> so now uh, I feel I miss something. <laughs> I miss being disciple. I miss being carefree. I miss being... Uh, no, it's different. I'm carefree, but I'm not free. Because you bind me. <laughs> In my heart, I'm free, but I'm not free. Because you are not free. I am together with you, how can I be free? But on the other hand, I am free, because I'm already free. <laughs> Just like you go to rescue somebody in, in, in a burning house, you're in danger also. You're originally out of danger. But because you rescue someone, you're always in danger. You might risk your life together with that person, but it's your job, understand? You voluntarily become, so you cannot say, I'm free, I'm not in danger. I'm not the victim. At that moment, you are, right? Mm -hmm. You jump into the sea and rescue somebody. Maybe you cannot swim, uh, or maybe something happens to you and both of you sink, mm -hmm. or in a burning house. Mm -hmm. So in, on the other, uh, in one hand, you are volunteer, but the other hand, you will become victim together, if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. But you have to take the risk. Otherwise, how can you, you, you help that person? Hmm? Either your life or her life, or both. <laughs> yeah, but we have to take the risk. At that moment, you don't think anymore whether my life or his life, you just jump in. Hmm? Just since you ask, and then I realize that I'm also in. <laughs> yes, otherwise, I don't think about it. Yeah? Right? It, it's, about, uh, it's about praying to you. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, you see, I, I'm most of the time thinking that I'm doing something wrong. Okay? Yeah. You know that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know that you always do okay. something wrong. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, I always think that. Yeah. The old things, you know, when yeah, I yeah. was young. Uh, Gail Catholic, trip. Gail Catholic, trip. Catholic, yeah. you know. <laughs> Catholic trip. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so I, I'm kind of hesitant to pray to you to help me because I feel now I know that I'm responsible for whatever happens to me. Mm. So so I think, well, just eat your eat your cake. You made it, you know. Mm. Instead of praying to you, I'm I'm to always, eat it. <laughs> yeah, I just eat it and I feel sour and I feel uh, <laughs> shitty. I cry in but yeah, eat. <laughs> I just feel mm. so so a little, mm -hmm. I'm, I belittle myself all the mm -hmm. time. Yeah, I feel that way. Yeah. You should not marry. I know. I, You're doing fine. I, it's, it's not, it seems to be out of my control. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know, I have this big picture of you in, mm. in where I, in, mm. in the center. Mm. And I come to you and I, I talk to you mm. and, and I say, uh, I know I'm shitty again. Here I am, you know. Oh God, again, <laughs> bong bong on the head, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, well, can you help me? But I don't want you to help me because I don't want you to be sick because of me. No, no, I, don't I want won't you. be sick. Otherwise, I die already. <laughs> You are not the only one. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what my fear is. Is mm -hmm. how can I pray to you without giving you taking? Just pray. Okay. And don't intellectualize so much. Yeah, okay. You give me burden because you intellectualize. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if you just purely pray, no problem, no burden. Do anything naturally. You need to pray. You just pray. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you die. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? And then you pray and you don't, you pray and then you, you obstruct yourself and you pressure yourself and you don't have to pray. That makes trouble for me. I don't know whether you want to pray or not to pray. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure whether to give you or not. Yeah? Because give you, you feel guilty, you don't want to take it. And on the other hand, you need it. So should I kneel and beg you, please take it? <laughs> mm. That's the trouble, because we don't want anything definitely. Hmm? Yeah, just want it, and whether God gives it or not is his problem. If he's stingy or generous, <laughs> personality we cannot, <laughs> we cannot uh, change. Eh? Anything else? Please, just continue. Continue asking, no don't need to, me to ask you. Okay, now I got a question is, um, when you have problems, 
uh, for say, I lost my I identifies, <laughs> lost my I identifies. <laughs> and should I just sit there and pray for you, or with the same t with the same time when when I pray for for Master to help me, and I in the meantime I'm looking for it, or just sit there and pray. When you lost your ID card, you should ID go and look for it. <laughs> <laughs> but, just remember where you lost it, or if you cannot remember and you pray for Master, and if you cannot get it, then probably you lost it too long away, so get another one. <laughs> Very simple. But my question is, you know, sometimes people said, just sit down and pray for it, uh, don't do anything. Oh my God, that's nonsense. Help yourself before God helps you. Hmm? Be independent. Learn to use your wisdom. You only pray in emergency when you cannot do anything else. Or you can pray but do it at the same time. Look here, if you pray for me to give you rice and food and then you don't eat it, you still pray for me to eat for you, is that all right? I did, I did, you know, but in, you know, when I pray, but I do looking for it, you know, I walk around right. and look for That's it. All but, right. but all the people say, no, just sit down and pray for it. Oh my God. And then the identity card will drop into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told them, but I doubt it myself. If I, am I correct? You know? No, no, no. You do it and pray. Okay, at thanks, the same Master. Time. Yeah. You do everything. It's your duty to do, it's, it's your life to experience all the pleasure and pain of this life. Only when you, you feel it's unbearable, then you pray for the Master to give you courage, not that not to bear it. <laughs> give you courage and, and, and enduring uh, power to, to just uh, to go on with it. Understand? Yes. Because everything happen has to happen. Mm. But when we practice, we're stronger in the willpower, eh? and we can bear things better than before, right? That is all. Hmm? Just like when you, you grow up, you can carry uh, uh, more weight than when you were younger. Hmm? But the weight is still five kilo, doesn't. <laughs> the weight will not be less, but you're stronger. Hmm? Dear Master, I'm from Singapore. Uh, I have this problem here. I often pray to you uh, because I believe you are the Supreme Master. Then I get confused. Should, what, how is the Heavenly Father related to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so should I sometimes pray, pray to Heavenly Father? Because I was a Christian before. And right, understand. Jesus was the Supreme Master and yes. he said, pray to Heavenly Father in my name. Yes. So sometimes I do, do not want to know whether I should pray to Heavenly Father in your name or pray directly to you. Whatever you feel comfortable. I'm not mm, very in the mood to have competition with God. No, I'm not. <laughs> so I won't be praying wrongly, isn't it? No, not at all. That's all right. Uh, another question is that... Uh, and when you have trouble, you, you pray you. to me. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> when I'm in trouble, then you pray to the Father. That's all right. We take turn to take care. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, it's not to whom you pray, it is the sincerity. Yeah? Yes. At that moment you feel like to, to pray to the Heavenly Father, you, then you pray to the Heavenly Father. Because actually it sounds illogical to pray for me, to help myself, <laughs> right? Yes. So in your logic mind, it doesn't make sense. Therefore you have to pray to a third person, yes. uh, because that makes sense to you. Yes. That's all right. That's all right. It's very logical. I would do the same. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I have this problem again is that uh, in the five precepts, uh, it's mentioned that uh, you should not kill anything. Uh, not the thing harm, is that yes. uh, one of my uh, colleagues, he has a problem for uh, question for me is that uh, his house is infested with termites. Yeah. And he's asking me, should he kill the termite? And I told him that you, you should not kill the termites. And he said, then the, the termite will bring the house down. So what should he do? So I asked uh, two of the Guan Yin messengers, they gave me different answers, so I'm confused. I told him to pray to Master Yu to uh, so speak. I killed him for him, speak, right? Uh, no, no, no. To speak to the instinct of the, the termite so that they will move to another location. Yeah. If they move, it's all right. Yeah. If, if otherwise... Not, tell him have to keep his house in hygienic condition. Try to take... Uh, precaution, yeah? Maybe spray before they came. 
take care of the house, make sure that no cakes, no oil, anything spill around, then they will not come and spray your house before they come. If anything cannot help, then you, you can spray or do something to keep to the house. The yeah, keep the house in order. Yeah, you change the five names. Yeah. Yes, ma'am? Yes. I just uh, would like to return her question about praying you when uh, she lost something. Mm. A few months ago, I lost my purse during my um, vacation. Mm. Uh, when I stopped at the rest area, mm. and then four hours later, mm. I discovered that I lost, and it's too far away already, about... Mm. Uh, 300 miles. Mm. So um, when I when I discovered that I lost it, I was terrible scared because everything was inside. You know, my MasterCard money, mm. then I have nothing, mm. and uh, it was so far away from my home. Mm. But deep in deep inside me, mm. I feel that I, I will not I will find it. Yeah, I keep the money <laughs> for you, right? And I just I become money keeper, right? <laughs> But but somehow, somehow I, I have a strong feeling that uh, it will, I will find it. And I sit down and I sat down and pray for uh, your help. Mm. And then um, I try to call the um, agency to report the card credit card loss. Correct. And I call the police. Yes, In both that of area, them. Yeah. I tried my best. Yeah. And uh, the next day, because the police station told me to call back the next morning mm. to see if there is anybody who find it. And I called back and very lucky that uh, uh, the restaurant where I uh, stopped by for the restroom, they found it and mm. they said that everything was in there, even the, um, the cash money in there. Mm -hmm. And I was so thankful for your help oh, because yeah. I know that you, without your help, you know? I don't know. I probably... <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it happens and we find it again. <laughs> but it's okay. But it's okay to, to have faith in Master. I, about three, four times I have got my things back. Once I lost my diamond necklace on wow. the road. Wow. And after one hour, I realized it is down. It's lost. So I went yeah. to that road and mm. buses and cars were going. It mm. was safe. Still there. It's still there. After one hour, nobody picked it. Mm. Maybe nobody won your necklace. <laughs> and the pers your personal smell has protected it from harm. <laughs> and the purse, I lost it at the peak restaurant. Uh. When I came home 12 o'clock night, and because it was cold, mm. and it was that day was my birthday, I have a family take me to the dinner. Mm. Mm. So I had a coat, I forgot my purse. When I came home, I said, where is the purse? Then I asked ask police. And 12, uh, after one hour, one o'clock at night, police phoned me. They found the purse. Mm -hmm. Very good. And very, <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> because Fantastic. The, good. And they okay. give back it. Main point is you got your purse. I always heard about bank keeper, housekeeper, but I never heard of purse keeper before. <laughs> and... Once in MTR station, so many people, I lost my wallet. Uh. And I came out, I wanted to catch the bus, but uh. no change. I said, where is my wallet? Immediately, I f reported to the lost and found. Mm. And next morning, phone came, your wallet is there. Mm. And everything was there. Mm. In so the what is your conclusion? <laughs> So you can find always what you lost or what? Because of you. <laughs> oh, you mean after that, after initiation, you pray to Master? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> then how much would you give me for... <laughs> everything. everything. As a reward? Everything. Huh? Everything. Everything you give yes, me. Yes, I All give right. myself also. All right, I accept. <laughs> <laughs> but you become my manager, okay? <laughs> Keep everything for me. <laughs> Give everything that you give me for me. <laughs> once, once my friend saw the picture pendant, she asked me, who's that picture? I said, my master. She said, she looks superwoman. Superwoman. It's very lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> <laughs>
dotados televidentes. Gracias por acompañarnos en el programa de hoy titulado El Maestro Siempre Ha Estado Contigo, parte 2 de 3 en Entre la Maestra y los Discípulos. Por favor sigan sintonizados a Supreme Master Televisión para una programación más positiva. A continuación sigue del libro de Mosi, del Moísmo, libro 4, Amor Universal, parte 2 de 2, en palabras de sabiduría, después de noticia de interés. Que todos los días de su vida sean bendecidos con los más gratos momentos de amor incondicional. May every day of your life be blessed with fondest moments of unconditional love. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.